Joining me now to go over the top stories this Australia Day is Sky News contributor Gary Hardgrave. Gary, happy Australia Day to you. Absolutely. And shouldn't we be very proud of this country and sad for those who just don't quite get it that this is a day where most Australians are very happy to get together with family, friends, talk about what makes us great. Are we perfect? No, never promised that. But it seems extraordinary that somebody used the day to get our point across. You know, right now, Liz, I think we're being weakened from within our country. Uh, there are people outside our country who want us to be weak and it's slowly but surely working because a lot in the media class have decided they want to give lots of publicity to, you know, genocide and all this sort of claims that people make. And a lot of it is based purely on hearsay and, and stories that have been passed on. Look, in the end, uh, Australia is what Australia is. I, I am still absolutely gut-wrenched about the angle grinder that came out in the middle of the night and chopped Captain Cook off at his ankles when... All he did was, as a great navigator, great the great explorer, found the East Coast and charted it uh, back in 1770. Arthur Phillip came along in 1788 and somehow or other Captain Cook has to lose his legs. Uh, the, the stupidity of these numpties just knows no bounds. And yet it seems unabated, Gary. And why wouldn't it be when you've got our own Prime Minister under fire for simply saying Happy Australia Day in his Australia Day message today? Working together, we can make this an even better, stronger and fairer country. Happy Australia Day. Star Apparently is wishing you know, someone a happy Australia Day is an act of deliberate yeah. cruelty on this day of mourning, Gary. Well, it's absolutely ridiculous. Look, I love our Australian flag. It's a symbol of our national unity. There are a lot of other flags that people like to fly from time to time, Liz, but look... That is one flag. We are one people who can really rally around one flag. If you're anywhere around the world, you know exactly what the Australian flag looks like if you need trouble. We also wrap ourselves in it during times of glory. Yet you've got not just the Prime Minister, who's unsure about what his view on all of this is. He really isn't. He'd be looking at the polls before he'd make uh, these statements. But you've got people who are holding uh, positions of great authority, like cricket captains and vice captains. You know what happened at the Gabba today? Hardly anybody went. You know, people in Brisbane decided, I don't think we need to be showing up at the woke cricket. And those who did were confronted by those who were screaming that the cricket shouldn't have been held on Australia Day. It's like people believe in free speech as long as they're the only ones doing the talking. Uh, and yet, Liz, we, we, we as a country, we celebrate our differences, we celebrate our unity, we've got to come together on days like this. It's really important we do because... People around the world are trying to pull us apart. Their agents are everywhere in our big corporates. I mean, I want our Qantas back. I want my Woolworths back. I want my cricket back. I want these people to get out of the way and let us get back to the way we always used to be. Hear, hear, Gary, preach! I think everyone needs to take a leaf out of Bev MacArthur's book. Check this out. She's the Liberal member yeah. for Western <laughs> Victoria. And I think she's got the right idea for dealing with the haters on Australia Day. Take a look. I'm delivering a flag to Samantha Rat, leader of the Greens, because it's most important that everybody has a flag to celebrate Australia Day tomorrow. And I'm it's very sure that the Greens don't have a ready supply of Australian flags, so I think it's most important that the leader of the Greens has a, an Australian flag. Let's just see if she's home. No answer. I don't think she is home. But anyway, Samantha, here's your flag. Happy Australia Day. Love your work, Bev. That's the Aussie spirit, isn't it, yeah. Gary? That's how we deal oh. with the haters, I think. Just reignite the Aussie larrikin in us. Well, look, I know Bev well, known her for a long, long time, served with her, her husband. Uh, look, can I tell you, she walks softly, she talks softly, but she's carrying a flagpole. I mean, what a terrific response to all of that. I feel sorry for people who live in electorates of the Teals and the Greens who today weren't able to fully commemorate their citizenship ceremonies the way in which others did. I, I know all around Brisbane, there were thousands of people, for instance, became citizens today, a massive ceremony at at City Hall at the Lord Mayor. 
ran as he always does and different councillors in different places, including, you know, one Liberal councillor was praised by the Speaker, Milton Dick, as, you know, being a, a real gem. For those who are becoming citizens, you've got the best councillor in Brisbane. So, you know, Angela Owen, good on you for doing that. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, We've got a great country. We should be proud of it and we should be welcoming people and realise that January 26 is a part of the family history of millions, millions of people because that's the day in which they become citizens and yet these people pour scorn on it and say they should somehow rather be embarrassed by it. I'm not embarrassed by it. I love Australia and I'm happy to entertain the jerks who don't. <laughs> I love that. That is the Aussie spirit, Gary. And no need to tell me, I used to be a city councillor and I tell you what, Australia Day, we used to have a massive citizenship ceremony. People would cry. Yeah. They were so happy, as they oh, should be, to be pledging allegiance absolutely. to the greatest nation on earth and be welcomed into the Australian family. They recognised it as an honour. It's our PM and seemingly every Labor government in the country as well as 81 now, 81, Gary, local councils in yeah, this fair yeah. nation who refuse to hold citizenship ceremonies on this blessed day. It's an utter disgrace.